Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you five spooky treats you can make for Halloween. So my name is Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and today I'm collaborating with a sweet friend of mine, her name is Jen from A Little Bit of Calm and Crazy. Now if you don't know Jen, she just started her YouTube channel, oh maybe about five, six months ago and she's just taking off. She is one of my most favorite people to watch on YouTube and I love doing collaborations with her because she just has such creative ideas. Now if you've never been to her channel, be sure to go check it out. She does all kinds of DIYs. So today she's also sharing with you five fun treats you can make for Halloween. So go check out her video of her five delicious treats and tell her that Kristen sent you. All right guys, let's go make these spooky Halloween treats. Okay, for this first one, I don't know about you guys, but our school won't allow you to bring homemade items. So I bought store-bought donuts and just added those cute little vampire fangs. Next, I just got some eyeballs. You can put them on the frosting or you can just balance them on. But my kids loved having these at their school party. Next, I just made some cupcakes and covered them with chocolate frosting. Next, I'm going to take an Oreo. I'm going to open it up and take the cream off because we don't need the cream for this recipe. Then I'm just going to break my cookie in half and those are going to be my cute little bat wings. Now you can stick them really close together or a little bit further apart. I tried the further part and they were just fine. Next you're going to add two little eyeballs. You can find these eyeballs anywhere now. Walmart, your local Kroger, literally everywhere. Now you can leave your bat just like that but I decided to take some candy corns and make some little things for him. It will also work great for classroom parties if you buy pre-made cupcakes and just buy store-bought frosting. Now because I already had the chocolate cupcakes, I decided to just do one more thing. So we're making little spiders here. Now I'm just sticking in eight little pipe cleaners. You can also do some little red licorice or black licorice and put it in the cupcake. Those would be really cute too. Now if you're doing this for a class party and you don't want to buy those eyeballs, you can also use just mini M&Ms and they can pick their color of eyes. My kids loved making both of these cupcakes. Next I'm going to be making graveyard cups. So I just followed the instructions on the packet and I just mixed milk in with my pudding, whisked it all together, and then I put it in the refrigerator while I made the rest of my stuff for my pudding cups. So I'm using Milano cookies to make some little graveyard headstones and I decided to use a green frosting just to get a little more color in there. Once you're done with your headstones you just set those aside and now it's time to make the pudding cups. So the pudding only takes a few minutes to set up so this is the perfect after school snack for your kids for Halloween time. So I just put the pudding in two bowls that we had. Then I took some Oreos or you could use cookie crumbs or whatever you want to make the dirt and I just crumbled all them all up. Now I'm just going to sprinkle those right on top of my pudding. Then you can go ahead and add your gravestone in all of your pudding cups and then I like to add a little pumpkin on the side just for the fun of Halloween. Look how cute they turned out. And number five, we're going to make some spooky ghosts. So I took some white chocolate, threw it in the microwave just to melt it up a little bit. Then I took some Nutter Butters. Now these Nutter Butters are the perfect shape for the little ghost cookies I want to make. So I'm just going to put those aside. I'm going to grab some foil so I can put my cookies on them when they're done. And now it's time to dip the cookies. Now this is a perfect job for kids if you want to get them involved. And I just covered the cookie the best I could with the white chocolate. They don't have to be perfect because we're just going to eat them. Next, I added some M&Ms for some cute eyeballs. Now, if you want to be able to print these recipes out, I'm going to put a link in the description for you so you'll be able to find these recipes plus another five more cute Halloween recipes that we've made. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye!